What is up, my bros? Uh, it's been a good while, and I'm sorry, but I've been working on picking at this thing, on testing things, and just troubleshooting. And, you know, I got a little bit of video on that that I'm working on, but it's super boring. But I'm trying to get, I'm hoping to have a conclusion video of like troubleshooting and fixing and then it being fine, but I'm not to that point yet. But I am to the point where I'm ready to try and move on to something different. And that is working on the rear of the car. So, uh, I do have some LED tails that I have not put on yet that I've got at Christmas time. And I do have a trim panel piece to put back there. So let's work on that. Uh, bumper has to come off. And I've already confirmed that in order to get the tail light housings out, you have to pull the bumper off or at least loosen it. Well, I already started that bumper process and it sucks. So let me just kind of show you what's going on. Right now I'm doing these bumper bolts. I got these two out. Going for these two. But they're being kind of a biatch. Yeah. Or you could just hope that they break like that one just did. Crap. So back here, I was able to get uh, the housing removed only because the bumper is loose. Um, this side's not as loose because two bolts broke trying to take this side off. One bolt broke trying to take this side off. So you don't have to take your whole bumper off. You just have to loosen the eight bolts on each side. But this right here has bugged me because it kind of makes the bumper have a, a kink in it. So it looks crooked from the back. So I want to take this bumper off anyways. So I need to, I'm going to do one tail at a time. That way you guys can see the difference between the LEDs and the standard. So I'm going to leave this side on. I'll work on this side. I got the housing over here. And I grab this. This will be adapted to go into this. In order to do that, I need to drill a hole in here for a power wire that operates a sequential and then there's two flaps, this flap and this flap. These need to be bent down or cut off. Uh, I don't think I have any more cutting discs, so I'm gonna grab some pliers and just see if I can bend those flat because this has to sit flush in here. And then basically these two plug into your bulbs this pink one is the power wire that'll go out the housing, which operates the sequential patterns on these. I'll show you as I get to that point. Okay, now I got those tabs flat here and there. And then this will end up sitting like this. But first, I need to drill a hole in here for this power wire. Now I need to get like some alcohol to final clean this to where to make sure that these 3M or whatever, double sided sticky tape will stick to that housing. But first, I'm gonna plug this in real quick and see if this works.
that has to ground. Never mind. Got the grommet in there. Right there. You can still get your finger in this spot back here. You can hear that? To hit the momentary switch to change the uh, sequential pattern. So, these are good. These will tuck in like this. And then this is for the sequential. Okay, one last thing I have to do before I put this on the car is take off this raised little nub right here. Okay, everything is all plugged in in the back. Everything's hooked up back here. Hit the parking lights. Oh, it came on. Look at that. Okay, that's a huge difference. You got this little one you can barely see in the daytime. And this one. Okay, you can go hit the brakes for me. Pressing the brake. Okay, it's 
something's not working, then let go. Um, I wonder if I got something backwards. Maybe that is the brake light going on right there. Let me check it. Okay, the connection's not perfect, so I think what I'm gonna do is after I get this all done, I'm gonna actually cut those connectors off and not use those plug sockets and just splice everything directly. But go ahead and hit the brakes. There we go. Versus that. Yeah. I'm not doing that one. That's way better. So I just need to uh, go ahead and just snip the wires and do some soldering. So I'm just gonna get the other one to the same point this one is, and then I will worry about fine tuning it when I'm done. Okay, they're both in. Try this. Okay, no parking lights, good. And that's because I hooked the battery. Look at these ones. Okay, now this time, <laughs> this one's brake light's on, and this one's parking light is on? Yeah, see, these connections are kind of loose. But, looks good. Caleb, what do you think about that? Like Tell me if anything changes. I have a feeling like the brake lights are on. Tell me if they get brighter. They do? Okay, yeah, come hit the brake for me real quick then. Oh, they both went. Okay. Oh, but yeah, but one. So this side is staying on. This connection on this side is being stupid. Let off. Oh, okay, put them on. Yeah. Okay, guys. I am going to change the wiring on this and get rid of these stupid brake sockets. I don't know if you guys can see those, but you have the same thing if you're doing it. And see if I can figure out what's going on, but at least you can see them on. So I'm gonna call it on this one and uh, the next one I'll fine tune it. And I still need to get this bumper off because there's three busted bolts on it. It's keeping me from getting it off. But I bought this. Hopefully this will reach up there. And then I got this to go in between. But I'm going to put this on. I'm not going to drill holes in my body panel. I am going to 3M body tape it on there. So I'm going to cut off all these studs and 3M it on there because I'm not 100% set that I'm going to keep that on there, but I would like to see it on there and I think that 3M stuff works pretty good. So that's it. Lots more coming. Um, I know that those taillights are just beacon out because of those bad connections on the uh, housings. They ground to the housings by those plugs. So I'm going to bypass that and make actual grounds and solder connections and that should be way more reliable. And then I actually have some big news concerning this as far as 
the problems I'm having, but I'm gonna save that for that video because that video has already been in the works for a while of just testing and stuff. So I did hit a good milestone though, as far as narrowing down what the problem is. I can tell you right now that the motor is perfectly fine. All the sensors are fine. And I'll leave it at that and I'll address that next video because that's stuff on its own. But I do have a lot more stuff on the way. Lots of stuff going on. I'm uh, trying to get motivation. Uh, you guys know how it is. Anyways, I'm out. Okay, guys, I thought I was done, but I just couldn't leave it, like, working half-ass. So I went through and I hardwired everything in here. I got rid of those stupid connectors. I regrounded stuff on both sides. The only thing I haven't done is the uh, ignition wire for the sequential, but... This actually took a few hours. Look at this mess. So now here it is with the uh, running lights on, and then Caleb hits the brakes, and the brakes work. They do a quick flash and they stay on once. That's just a standard feature. There it is. They work. Right on, it's done. Okay, I will show you more in the sequential next week.